previously on the scene. I'm David Lenham. This is Mike Dalamont. This is the Scene Shot Television's island-wide arts and entertainment program. Today in Habits, in the atrium. Yeah, the beautiful vista, the barista, vista, coffee. barista, mm -hmm. coffee. Mike Delamont, a uh, comedian you know in town, doing his own stuff, but you're also bringing in some talent. What do you got? Uh, I am, I'm producing. Uh, bringing in Dylan Moore to the Farquaad Auditorium, uh, one of the UK's best. Uh, hilarious Irishman, stars in uh, Shaun of the Dead, uh, Run Fat Boy Run, and his own BBC series, Black Books, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, comes in at the end of the month. June 30th. June 30th. I can get tickets. Tickets.uvic.ca, uh, 3750. Just like it. Segway, Towers and Trees, Victoria Band, on the rise, uh, relatively new band, uh, playing at VicFest and a number of other festivals. Adrian, yeah, the guy who, who writes the songs, we got to chat with him, we got to hear the band, and uh, tell me that he doesn't look like a cross between Jude Law and Justin Timberlake. He does not. And here we are mm -hmm. uh, with Towers and Trees, the hot up-and-coming buzzworthy <laughs> band. That's what they would say oh, if we were that show, but we're not. <laughs> right, thank you. So we will never say that. that. Yeah. Um, we but, say it about ourselves. But, but interesting, you guys have the, the EP out, the song Montreal, mm -hmm. the radio, nice. lots of interviews and stuff, and now you're playing a song for us that no one may have heard before. Well, it's a little interesting. Which um, I like. There will be a sort of a, it's, it's a new old song. It's actually a song uh, that I wrote quite a few years ago say four or five years ago something like that and so I would perform it uh, back then but it never really took off I had a, a, a previous band years ago and I never never really was a full fit there but I actually I mean yeah it, it had a light it had a sort of a short lifespan and then it got tucked away and then uh, we just we started playing it um, with this group here and uh, yeah, everybody's eating water but yeah. it's like you just hear this <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And it kind of got new life, so now we're thinking that we would love for it to be on our uh, next album, which will hopefully be a full-length right. album. And so, yeah, it's a song called How Lovely Your Weather, and it just fits really well with the kind of music that we're making today. Mm -hmm. So the, the band Towers and Trees has a relatively short journey in, in time, right? Mm -hmm. You guys were formed, what, a year ago? Yeah, Ish. we... Uh, so last January, uh, Ben... Luberts and I started recording the EP here in this very apartment. This mm -hmm. is where the whole thing was recorded. And uh, it was sort of going to start as this solo, little kind of semi-solo project of mine because I had these songs that I'd written. But we, we were really happy with the sound, and so one by one we started pulling in some of our favorite musicians, and uh, all of whom are in the room. Mm -hmm. And um, then we finished the EP, and we thought, man, we should really do like an album release show. Hey, let's ask these same guys if they want to play. So that was in <laughs> September. And, and, and that was kind of, I mean, that show, we played that show, even in the practices, but definitely in the performance, there was just a big chemical, ethereal bond that happened between all mm -hmm. of us. And we were like, man, we got to keep making music together because this was just so much fun. And, we, and a lot of us have been playing music for a lot of years, but there was just something so sweet about that show. And, and there's been many, many more sweet moments like that since, so. Uh, big album, anytime in the future? Uh, our hope is that, um, so we really believe that we have a, a really solid full-length album that we would like to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, as many of those songs are already written and many of them are kind of in the early stages and we would love to just be able to tuck away and really focus on creatively developing those. Um, our goal is to start uh, seriously either prepping for recording or recording in the fall. I'm not sure whether it's early fall, late fall, uh, but this summer we're really just focusing on establishing ourselves a little more. Uh, we're really hoping to get into the Peak Performance Project. We're playing Vic Fest, Tall Tree. Um, hopefully we'll get a chance to play at Rifflandia. And, um, and then we want to go away and, and make a, a good record that we can be really, really proud of. It 
Sadness comes like a rolling fall out at sea Where silence is a drug more these marshmallow walls closing on me And I linger on these corset uniforms For a shining light to guide me back
Man, we're so lucky to have Mike Delamont on the scene because arguably, and who's arguing about it, the city's top comedic talent. Uh, God is a Scottish drag queen. Got all these shows going on. Love talking to him because he just likes to, you know, he's a funny, funny guy. Mike, how do, uh, what is humor to you? What is funny, man? Like, what is... God, people always ask comedians that, and it's like, what? Are you there? Am I that? Am I on the phone for my set? I thought it was somebody else. Now I'm a total douche. <laughs> That's funny, eh? That's Isn't improvised that comedy. We didn't even know we were gonna do that. I thought uh, you were introducing somebody else. You're like, be on the phone. I was like, I can be on the phone. I don't want to be on the phone if it's like, my questions. Concept. It's high concept. Let's. Uh, we'll, high concept. we'll come back. We'll come back to you, big guy. Douche concept. Yeah. Well, it could be douche concept. Uh, let's talk about Jazz Fest. Honky Tonk uh, pianist David Vest moved to Victoria a little while ago from Alabama, hence his killer accent. He's like a cross between uh, Floyd Dixon and Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah, I'm going to say that because that's what he is. We caught up to him in his James Bay pad. We got to talk to him. We got to hear him do a little of this because he's playing at Jazz Fest. Okay, so to describe your piano playing genre, your oeuvre as boogie woogie would be a bit of a misnomer, wouldn't it? I think so. I, I think of it as kind of beyond category myself because I've heard it described as boogie woogie, as blues, as rock and roll, as, as, as country and western music, as jazz. And I've, I played the same way since 1957. So uh, what they call it keeps changing, but I, I don't, that's the only way I know to play it. It's great fun, and and when people get up and dance, and you know, I've played in concert halls where I didn't know it was going to work, but people were up in the aisles dancing halfway through the first song, and that that's just like, to me, like laughing at a joke that shows you got it <laughs> if you start moving to it. I got thrown out of churches uh, for playing that. Uh, once a minister came up to me and said, "That thing you're doing with your leg while you're playing, can can you stop that?" And, I hadn't known I was doing it, so I said, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, you'll have to leave. So, I mean, you, you got to be thrown out of a church to be a blues man. <laughs> and there is there is a lot of tradition behind this music. Uh, for a guy that grew up in Alabama when I did, back in the days uh, before civil rights, when, uh, you know, auditoriums and homes were being blown up by, by the Klan, uh, African-American musicians came out and risked their lives to teach me how to play this stuff. You know, so I, uh, it's a lot of fun, but it's a deep thing with me too, because those guys were willing to go anywhere to pass on what they knew. talking to Jazz Fest because that's happening 10 days. It's happening already. It's started. It's begun. It's on in town um, and lots of good performers. Everyone from like Serena Ryder to Herbie Hancock and all the Twix. You got a favorite. You want to go see someone, right? I, I want to see Herbie Hancock, but I want to see the Esperanza Spalding girl, the one that beat out Bieber uh, at, the, at the Grammys. Yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. That's one of those good surprises that you just wait for. You think, yeah! All the believers were like, here it comes! Oh! Yeah. Just sadness. All tweeting. I'm so yeah. sad. I'm so Unhappy sad. face. Who is she? Oh, she's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> she's better than Bieber. Bieber will be here next year on his way down yeah. at Herman's. I'm producing I think. him at the farm. <laughs> <laughs> next week. Uh, so, speaking of Jazz Fest, Daryl Marr, uh, uh, Victoria Jazz Society, has been running Jazz Fest, picking the axe for 29 years. 
Another amazing crop this year. Here's Daryl. There's more than jazz to this festival, yeah. as it has been for uh, the past few years. And um, uh, yeah, I've seen Steve Earle at this festival. Yeah, so. exactly. And, and the accompanying uh, statement with uh, jazz and what you think is jazz is what you feel. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, uh, jazz certainly is what you feel. Mm -hmm. what, uh, all the styles of music that we incorporate into our jazz festival. Um, there's roots music, there's groove music, uh, alternative pop. Uh, we've covered a, a lot of bases this year uh, with our over 80 so performances in the 10 day period. There's a lot of gems in our uh, music festival and uh, you know you have to look beyond the headliners and uh, you'll find that there's a, a lot of uh, new artists that have never been in Victoria that can be at the festival and uh, I encourage all people to open their ears and mm. listen for that sound open of your surprise. Minds, right? Open your yeah. mind and your ears. Yeah. More Jazz Fast. Which is on right. You know anything about Quinn Bashan? No. So anyway, Quinn Bashan is <laughs> Quinn Bashan is a, a guy who literally grew up on the show. We've been having him for years, taping him as a kid. He was a sideman with everybody playing the guitar. Now, fronting his own band called Brish and Django Reinhardt, inspired uh, Ruben Weir, Richard Moody, Joey Smith, Quinn Bashan, Brish and. Jazz Fest. Uh, that's what we're talking about with yeah. Mike Dalamont. Hey. Because he's like a jazz guy. Ashley Way is a jazz girl. That's the worst segue ever. Yeah. Should we start again? Yep. Okay. Ashley Way is playing a jazz fest with Sean Drabbit, with Matt Pease. That's where we found her, and, and we, we got her to hold still long enough. 
because she has this kinetic energy to get this thing. I'll tell you a story about a girl I once knew. She'll light up your life as only she can do. She's no lady but a friend of mine. Stunning eyes and crazy hair and outrageous clothes only she can wear. She's no lady but a friend of mine. Let's talk about the new album. Sweet. Ashley Way, you got a new album coming out at some point in time. We never know when with albums. Yeah, sometimes it can take a longer time than planned. I've, you know, to put an album out. I've been uh, working on my next album for probably about a year and a half. I've been writing this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I got all the songs written at this point, and I have everything in demo um, version that I've produced myself. Uh, so, um, I'll probably go into the studio in about three months. Okay, well, that's a good time. And that's what we're getting to hear today. We're going to hear one track that's from right. that, like a sneak and peek. She, that's right, and it's there. called She's No Lady. And it's about a friend of mine. <laughs> but we're not going to, are you going to reveal who? No. <laughs> think, not with a title like that, no. right? She's No Lady, and it's you. And here's her picture, and here's her address. And... She'll break your heart with her Got some jazz fest going on, and that's uh, sort of where we're we're aiming this show. Jazz fest is always fun to do, right? Yeah, jazz fest is great. Last year, I hosted the late night jam sessions at the office, and I went. And it was great, and it was awesome. Yeah. It was tons of fun. All yeah, kinds you of out all sorts came of people. Out. And um, this year, the venue is going to be Smoke and Bones, okay. and I'm doing the first week of opening it up of the late night jam session there, so that's the choice. I love the late night jams, it's a way to, to find out about all the players in town and people who you yeah. wouldn't normally see, and who knows who's going to drop in, right? And you don't know who's going to drop in. Um, Esperanza Spaulding, she might She might just drop in. in. Well, she has a show the same night. Which means I just might be able to get backstage and be like, check it out, you gotta come down, right? Because that's the thing, we want people, at, what, Wynton Marcellus always comes out. Jazz musicians are casually aloof and cool. Some would say pretentious. I don't think so, and that's why we're aloofly cool. We are. I can't see a thing. Neither can I, because these are Jose's glasses, and they've got so many <laughs> thumbprints on them, and I can't actually, I don't know who you are. That's the cool thing, though. Yeah. That's they're cool because they're dirty. If they're dirty, mm. they're cool. I don't even care about my glasses or yeah, whatever. It's just dirty. Yeah. Uh, you got a uh, comedian coming in. You got a little Dylan Moran coming in. Yeah. When? June 30th. Thanks. Yeah. Farquhar Auditorium. Farquhar. Farquhar. At UVic. Yeah. Get there. June 30th. He's a funny guy. He, he's very funny. He, he makes he, me giggle. He's a funny guy. And if he giggles, I vouch for it. Stamp of approval. <laughs> You'll the Mike Delamont stamp of approval. Yeah. Dylan Moran. Uh, remember Jazz Fest. Remember Vic Fest. Remember to check us out on Facebook.com slash The Scene TV. That's it. David Lenham. Him, too, and them from here. That's us. <laughs> <laughs>